This has been one of the most requested videos, actually. I'm going to teach you how to send custom messages uh, broadcasting to players and also how to customize join and leave messages uh, for players. It's going to be pretty cool. However, I'm not going to teach you too much in this video because we already made over 50 videos in this uh, Minecraft tutorial playlist series. So I'm going to be showing you the concept and then I'll leave the link to these small parts that you need to learn uh, to be able to go with it. All right, guys, let's dive right in. So first things first, what you need is Java knowledge. I can't unfortunately teach you this. I do have a full course on Java that won't fit onto YouTube, but honestly, there are a lot of free stuff uh, to get started with Java as well. So if you, if you don't understand what public final class means and everything, if that sounds a little bit weird, you're going to learn that first. All right. That's the first step. Second step, you should have watched video number one and number two and number three on this channel. So you should have a basic idea on how to make a very basic plugin that extends Java plugin and comes with the POM file as well as the plugin.yaml file. Don't worry about these files if you are getting overwhelmed because I teach them step by step in videos one, two, three in this micro plugin uh, development series. So make sure to also complete them. Then we have a video on how to run different tasks, right? So as you can see, we are already running up to five tasks right here. And again, I'm going to leave that video uh, down for you guys. And if you want to add another task right here, I can just simply duplicate this and then go down and just duplicate this too to properly cancel the task when the plugin is being restarted or disabled. And then I can go a little bit higher. There we go. And then I can just duplicate this too. And then instead of item pickup task, I'll just make a custom message broadcaster task. And again, I do have videos on uh, timed tasks as well as this one looks a little bit different. Reason being, this is compatible with Folia. And again, I have a video for Folia as well. So now you have pretty much all that you need uh, to make pretty good looking plugins just from watching YouTube, which is pretty cool. Now, what you can do, we can just clear up this entire thing. There we go. We can keep the instance and the constructor and then the getter right here. Go back here and then this, the task is going to say this class. Yep. And then the period is going to be in ticks. So how often do you want to broadcast uh, the message? For example, if you want to broadcast every 30 seconds, you just type in the period ticks uh, ticks to 20 because 20 ticks is one second times 30 seconds. And there you have it. Right? And then every um, twice per minute, we're going to iterate for all the players. And then you can either just send them a message hello and uh, you can obviously just keep the messages in the map if you want to load the messages from a config file i also well surprise surprise i do have a full video on how to do that so go ahead and watch that video right there now for example let's say that you have a list of messages let me just give some illustration and you have three messages right here or how many you want and you want to iterate. So you want to send this first, right? And then the second one, and then the third one. Well, this is quite easy, guys. You can just create an index <clears throat> index uh, right here. You can set it to zero and then you can get the message. So picked message is going to be messages get on the index. And then uh, right here, you can just increase the index and here you can insert a check. So if the index is greater or equal the messages length. No, it's actually size. Then you can just uh, reset it back. And of course, for the sake of uh, code coherence, if I'm using this, then I shall use it everywhere else too. There we go. That's a good coding practice too. Great. And then you can just send the message um, this way. If you do want to implement something called RGB or hex colors, I do have a video about that, but if you just want to skip over, I do recommend checking the sources for this plugin uh, in the video description. There is a resource link pointing to my blog and there you'll find all the sources. And so I've already um, inspired myself from this link to implement a colorize method, which supports, for example, message looking like this one. And then the hello is going to be applied, uh, is going to get this little hex color right here. And then if you want to send it, 
what you're gonna do is obviously just call come on calorize class which you don't have if you're if you're new here but again i assume you're watching these tutorials so there we go quite easy right nothing special i actually don't think i actually think that this feature is one of the easiest features uh you can ever have obviously if you want to customize it more please go ahead you can have multiple you know lists for different players you can have multiple lists uh, in a different hash maps for multiple worlds right so i guess it's just using all the basic java knowledge to implement it the way you want to uh, last part i'm going to leave you with as i promised i can also show you how to edit uh, player messages and this is actually quite easy so all we're going to do is make sure to create a new listener class to implement the listener surprise surprise i do have a video called game events or something like that so make sure to watch that video also make sure not to forget to register that class inside where is that right here so get server get plugin manager register events and a new join listener class and then the plugin is this and this method then belongs to the on enable main method inside your mains plugin class right and then inside the listener nothing fancy i can actually just copy this on join player join event and here you can just set the join message however if you do want to use any sort of clickable components i'm going to give you a little trick so you can just set the message to empty one of these works try both try null, null or try empty and i'm pretty sure one of these will work so essentially you're going to uh, remove the vanilla message and then i teach you how to send uh, components in the adventure video right and then you'll be able to basically just uh, type the magic method that looks something like this one again i do have a full video about that so basically you just iterate and you send the message having clickable hoverable events and this one supports uh, rgb colors as well for each player individually right so this is how to do it in the join event likewise we're gonna have something called quit away i believe and here you just set uh, the quit message right you just set it to nothing and you should be good to go as well all right guys i hope that this cleans a lot of things up this video is shorter uh, punch here and i'm going to leave many references uh, in the video description so without any further ado i think that's it Check out my course if you want to learn more about coding amazing micro plugins and uh, turn your server upside down in, in a good way. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.